Namaste beautiful yogis. Today's class is going to be a full body vinyasa class. I'm including a few of the poses as a preview that you can expect from this class. Here you can see an arm balance which followed after abdominal work. Some standing balancing poses. The class is going to be overall toning, strengthening, detoxing, calming and invigorating at the same time. Moderately paced. Some side planks. You all know I love side planks. Chaturangas. We'll take our time with upward facing dog. There is gonna be a good standing sequence. Warriors, triangles, side angles. Some standing stretches. Some back bends. Abdominal work. Those were killers. Circular movements with the knee. White stands triangle pose, Trikonasana, Uteta Trikonasana. As usual, some pigeons, Ekapada Raja Kaputasana, And let's begin standing in the front of our mat, feet are hip width apart, pointing directly forward, drop the shoulder blades back into your back, open the chest, open the palms of your hands out, facing forward, extend your tailbone down and begin to cultivate deep ujjayi breath, nice deep inhalations followed by complete exhalations. With each inhalation allowing the chest and your back to expand open. With each exhalation allowing the feet to sink further deep into the ground. As you inhale lifting through the crown of the head, let's inhale the hands over the head. Extend your tailbone down. Connect with your core, draw the navel in. Establishing connection with your core here. Clasping the hands, index fingers pointing. And let's reach over to the left side, stretching the entire right side of the body. 
back to center, reaching over to your right, look over your left shoulder, and coming back to center, inhale, lift, open, lengthen, exhale, folding forward. Holding a forward bend here, let's bring the hands behind the head, clasping the fingers and using the weight of your hands to gently pull the skin over the skull down, stretching the neck, no big pulling here, just gently gliding the hands over the skull, over the skin. Feel your spine decompressing here. You can keep your knees slightly bent. Hands on the floor. Inhale, look ahead of you. Pull the belly in. Flatten the back. Exhale. Hug your legs into your chest. And let's bring the right hand on the floor. Bending the right knee. Extending, lifting the left arm up twisting here. Feel free to keep both knees bending and reaching up and over the head with your left hand. Down on the floor, switching sides. Bring the right arm up, bend the left knee, look up over your right hand, right shoulder. And extend the right arm up and over the head, palm of the hand facing down. Press the hip away from you, the right hip away from you. Exhale, hands on the floor, inhale, flat back, come all the way up to standing, clasping the hands. And let's bring the hands behind the neck, open your chest up, elbows back, lifting through your heart here, inhale, hands over the head, exhale, diving forward, forward bend, inhale, look ahead of you and step your feet back into plank. And lower down Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Tuck your tailbone under, pull the belly in, lifting the quadriceps here, kneecaps are lifting, look over your right shoulder, and over the left shoulder, rocking the hips and back to center, shoulders back and down back to Chaturanga, exhale downward facing dog and you can walk in place here, bending one knee at a time feel it in your hamstrings, in your hips, in your back The shoulders are away from the ears. Spread the fingers open. You can come onto the tippy toes and gently lower the heels down. One more time, lifting the heels off the floor, lowering down. And again, lift and lower. And let's look between the hands and walk the feet between the hands. Exhale, folding. Bend the knees, chair pose. Sit as far back as you can. Draw the knees as far back as you can. Look down, make sure you can see your toes. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, look ahead of you. And let's jump into Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Back to Chaturanga, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg comes up. And we're going to draw a few circles with the right knee here. Draw them as big as you can. Breathe, be conscious, be mindful, be aware of your body. 
and step your right foot between your hands, come up high lunge. The back heel is pressing directly up and away from you. Lower the back knee on the floor, hands in prayer, and let's bring the left elbow on the outside of the right knee. Look over your right shoulder. Exhale, soften your belly. Drop the shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, widen the back. Slowly inhale forward, hands over the head. And let's bring the left arm on the floor. Stack the feet on top of each other. Side plank. Make sure your shoulder is directly over your wrist. And we're going to do leg lifts here. Aim for 10 leg lifts. Moving consciously. Be steady. Keep your body firm here, contracting your muscles. The belly is in. And let's reach over the head with the right hand and back to plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Drop the shoulders back and down, chaturanga. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pull the belly in and up so your navel is drawn towards your spine and up towards your rib cage. Take your left leg up and draw a few circles with your left knee. Be mindful in your moves. Look between your hands, step your left foot between your hands, come up high lunge, press the back heel away from you, drop the back knee on the floor, left knee over the left ankle, hands in prayer, right elbow on the outside of the left knee, twisting, look over your left shoulder, soften your belly, work with your exhalations here. With each exhalation, soften your shoulders and allow your chest to expand as you inhale. And inhale, reach over your head. Going into a slight back extension. And hands over on the floor. We're going to bring the right hand underneath. The right shoulder, stack the feet on top of each other, hips on top of each other, side plank. Side plank, leg lifts. We're lifting the left leg and being steady as we move. Keep your hips lifted, do not allow your hips to drop here. Inner thighs are working, outer thighs are working, obliques are working, hips are working. And back to plank. Lower down chaturanga. Inhale, pressing the toes down into the floor, upward facing dog. Back to chaturanga, exhale, downward facing dog. Walking in place. keeping the ears between the triceps and let's walk the feet between the hands inhale look forward exhale forward bend allow your head to be heavy let it go let go of holding your head and chair pose bend your knees sit in chair Inhale, come up to standing, back extension, tuck the tailbone under, hands over the third eye, and hands over the heart. And let's inhale the hands all the way over the head. Exhale, hands over the heart. 
chair pose. Inhale your hands over your head, sit back. Hands on the floor, forward bend. Inhale, look ahead of you. And let's bring the hands over to the right ankle, twisting the chest over to the right and over to the left. Back to center, inhale, looking ahead. Let's jump into Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And back to Chaturanga, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg comes up. And we're going to draw circles with the right knee here. One, two, drawing really big circles, bringing them into plank. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and let's step the right foot between the hands. Come up, warrior two. Feet are aligned for warrior two. The right knees facing directly forward. Pressing into the outer edge of the left foot, sink a little deeper here, bringing your thigh all the way to parallel. Let's reach with the right hand forward and bring it on the floor or elbow over your right knee, reaching with the left arm up, opening the left hip, spinning it open, and let's reach up and over the head, palm facing down. Straighten your right knee here, both legs are straight. Triangle pose, reaching with your left arm up and over the head, really lengthening here. Take the tailbone under and really open that left hip, spin it open. And release hands on the floor, wide legged forward bend, grab your ankles. Walk your hands to the back of your mat, right knee steps back, Chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, back to Chaturanga, exhale, downward facing dog, take the left leg up and we're going to draw circles here, then all together, I did 11 just to give you the time to do 10, 3, 4, draw the circles as big as you can, 5, keep your belly firm, keep your belly in, 6, 7, going from downward facing dog or one legged downward facing dog, into plank, drawing the circle and all the way back. I think nine. And last one. And let's step the left foot between the hands and come up warrior two. Relax your shoulders, sink into your warrior, tuck the tailbone slightly under, reach way ahead of you, lower the left hand by your left foot, side angle, opening the right hip and let's reach up and over the head. We 
with the right hand. Here we're gonna straighten the legs and take Trikonasana. Extended triangle pose, reaching all the way forward with your top arm. Great, release both hands on the floor. Wide legged forward bend. Grab your ankles. Lift your kneecaps here, press into the outer and inner edges of your feet. Hands on the floor, keep pressing into the outer and inner edges of the feet. And let's bring the left hand on the floor, right arm up. You can wrap it back and around to grab your inner thigh or whatever you can reach and grab. It can be your shirt. And let's reach up and over the head. Release, switch. Let's bring right hand on the floor, left arm up. Hands are reaching away from each other here. You can wrap your left arm back and around to grab your inner thigh. Look over your shoulder and release. Reach towards the front of the room or forward. Hands on the floor and let's bring the hands over to the right ankle. and over to the left. And back to center. We're gonna bend the right knee and straighten the left leg here. Go as deep as you can or as your body allows and you can alternatively wrap your hands behind you wrapping around your bent right knee and looking over the left shoulder. Flex your left foot and pull the toes actively in towards you. Great, hands on the floor, switching sides, bending the left knee. And see if you can wrap your arms around your left knee Straightening the right leg, pull the toes back in towards you, look over your shoulder. Great, hands on the floor and you can stretch side to side in side lunges here, bending one knee and then the other, pushing the knees back. Great, and we're gonna walk the hands to the front of the mat, step back plank. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, back to Chaturanga and exhale downward facing dog. Spread the fingers open, keep your feet parallel to each other, hip width apart. Soften your heels towards the floor. Soften your breath. Inhale, the right leg comes up. And let's bring the right knee towards the left elbow. And back, one, two. Coming into plank. Three, knee to elbow or knee to opposite elbow. Four, really draw your navel in. Five, keeping a firm belly, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. And here I'm going to transition into the arm balance we saw at the beginning of the class. Bringing the knee high on the triceps, shifting the weight forward, 
and lifting the back, back leg up. Walk slightly ahead of you here. Keep your legs firm and step back. All the way back into one legged downward facing dog. And we're gonna step the right foot between the hands, come up high lunge. Extending the tailbone down. Press the back heel away from you. Hands in prayer. Bring the left elbow on the outside of the right knee. Twist. Exhale. Soften your belly. Next step is to clasp your hands. Wrap them. And clasp. Bound. Twisting. High lunge. Clasping the hands behind you, wrapping them around your right, around and underneath your right leg. Here, you're gonna look down and step your back foot in, shift your weight onto your left foot and begin to come up. Keep your clasp. This is a modified bird of paradise pose. Extend your right leg, straighten your right leg here, keep your toes really active and look over your right shoulder. We're gonna reverse the motions here and go slowly back into this bound twisting high lunge. Great, coming out of it, hands over the knee, going into a slight back extension and you can spin your arms one at a time here. Inhale and reach over your head. Hands on the floor on the inside of the right foot. Lower your left knee on the floor. Forearms on the floor. Keep your right knee into your shoulder. Hold here. Stretch. Breathe. Slowly, coming up onto the hands. Lifting the back knee of the floor. Step back. Plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Shoulders back and down. Back to Chaturanga. Exhale, downward facing dog. Keeping the back wide. And let's take the left leg up. And bring the knee across to the opposite elbow. Left leg up. And bring it into the right elbow. Keep your belly in. Moving from downward facing dog into plank with the knee across and the belly firm we're gonna do 10 of those move mindfully slowly putting awareness bringing awareness into your movement and enjoying the process. A few more. Last one, we're gonna bend at the elbow, chaturanga alignment and switch. Shift into an arm balance. Looking ahead of us. Step back. Extend the leg behind you. Step the left foot between your hands and come up. High lunge. Hands over the heart. 
right elbow on the outside of the left knee look over your left shoulder keep your chest open shoulders down let's bring the right hand on the floor and from here we're gonna bring it underneath the left leg and clasp the hands behind keep your clasp look down and we're gonna step the right foot in and slowly begin to come up keeping your clasp standing onto your right leg slowly begin to extend your left straightening the left leg spread the toes open look over your left shoulder looking back breathe calmly be steady here a lot of the balancing is within in your mind slowly come down back on the floor into lunge we're gonna bring the hands over the knee open the chest press your hands into your leg and open the chest you can go into a back extension lift one head over hand over the head lift the other hand over your head keep pressing the back heel away from you and let's bring both hands over the head exhale both hands on the floor on the inside of your left foot keep your left knee into your shoulder and lower down, lower the back knee on the floor, lower down onto your forearms and work with your exhalations here. Breathe, soften your breath. See where your body is at the moment slowly come up onto your hands lift your back knee of the floor at all times keeping the left knee over the ankle and not over the toes and step back into plank lower down chaturanga inhale open upward facing dog and back to chaturanga exhale downward facing dog interestingly the lighting kept changing during this class and it feels like I'm moving through the seasons just looking at the lighting inhale right leg comes up step the right foot between your hands drop the back heel down on the floor and come up warrior two press into the outer edge of the left foot keep the right knee over the right ankle and we're gonna straighten both legs and bring the right hand down on the right foot or the right shin bone open the left arm up spin open your left hip here Tuck the tailbone under, extend the left arm up and over your head. Bring both hands forward here. Keep your belly in, your obliques are working here, holding you up. Come up to standing and we're gonna shift towards the back of the room. Take warrior two. Relax your shoulders. The hands are gently reaching away from each other. You feel that line from the left fingertips into the right great straighten your legs shift your hips back and take triangle pose trikonasana we're gonna lower one hand on the floor on the shin bone keep opening the right hip up and we're gonna reach with one or both hands over the head use your obliques and release both hands on the floor coming into wide legged forward bend and let's bring the hands over the right ankle forward bend 
over the left ankle, keeping the hips steady, keeping the feet, the foot alignment here. And let's face the front of the room, hands on the floor, step into plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, back to chaturanga, exhale and downward facing dog, inhale the right leg up, step the right foot between your hands, come up, high lunge. And let's bring the right hand on the right hip, straighten the legs, keep your hips square, Reach with your left arm in front of you, lower your left arm down onto your shin bone or the floor. Open the right hand up, reversing the triangle here, revolving triangle, twisting. And let's bring the right hand up and over the head, keep the back hip pressing back, so the right hip is pressing back away from the fingertips on the right hand release the hands on the floor lower down chaturanga upward dog back to chaturanga and exhale downward dog inhale left leg comes up step the left foot between your hands and come up warrior one here we're gonna straighten the legs Keep your hips square, reach with your right hand in front of you and bring it down. See how I'm spinning that left hip back. Open the left arm up and keep pressing the left hip back. Keep pressing the right heel down into the floor. Reach up and over your head. And look down. Bring the hands on the floor, step back, plank, and we're going to prepare for plank jumps here. Spread the fingers wide open, chest open, jump the feet forward, and back. Let's go for 10. One two, three, four, five, I'm switching up, six the way I do them, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Back to downward facing dog, take the right leg up, open the right leg out and up and lower the right knee on the floor, prepare for pigeon pose. We're gonna flex the right foot here, make sure your hips are equal distance from the floor, look down at your hips, make sure they are level with the floor. Open your chest, lift your rib cage, and lower down and hold here allowing your breath to be relaxed softening the breath Lengthening your back here, lengthening the spine. Keeping the hips equal distance from the floor. Keep your foot still flexing to protect your knee. Make sure there is no discomfort in your knee during pigeon 
if you do have discomfort then you have to do a modified hip opener laying on your back make sure to slowly progress deeper into your pigeons and into your hip openers try not to force anything but rather slowly grow more flexible and more open as you go further deeper into your practice I generally don't believe in the word push I don't apply pushing into my working out into my yoga practice everything to me has to be fun so if it feels painful I generally don't do it let's walk the hands back up towards us and we're gonna bring the left hand onto the right knee look over your right shoulder keep your tailbone tucked under and bring your heel in towards you here closing that distance between the heel and you and grab your left foot with your left hand bring it in tuck the tailbone under stretching the quadriceps here and let's grab the foot and go into a back bend, great. Slowly coming out of this, we're gonna go into one legged downward facing dog and draw circles with the right knee. And let's take the left leg up, open the left hip on top of the right look between your hands and bring your left knee down on the floor prepare for pigeon on the left side flex your left foot level your hips lift your rib cage away from your hips and slowly lower down keeping your spine elongated and coming back to your nice slow complete exhalations focusing on your exhalations inhaling slowly through the nose exhaling slowly through the nose allowing everything else around you at this moment to be less important and bringing all your focus and attention to your breath as if your breath is all that matters at this moment feel your hips softening as you exhale Continue working on deepening the breath, slowing it down furthermore, allowing yourself to practice your ujjayi during these seated stretches. So this is not a place where you can get bored and your mind starts to idle but it's a place for you to really bring your attention to your breath, to really deepen your breath, to really slow down your exhalations, to really focus, bring all your attention to your breath. Feel your hip just completely letting go. It's 
softening, opening. And let's begin to walk the hands back in towards us. Turn your chest towards your left leg. Look over your left shoulder, twisting here. And we're gonna bend the right knee. Grab your right foot and bring it in. Keeping your hips still level with the floor, very important. Tuck your tailbone under. And from here, we're gonna transition into a back bend, holding the right foot with the right hand. Great hands on the floor. Tuck your toes under, staying off of the left leg. Go back to one legged downward facing dog and draw a few circles with your left knee or the left leg. From here we're gonna bring both knees on the floor and come into a seated Inhale your hands over your head, exhale forward bend. Make sure your feet are flexing here, keeping your spine elongated. Breathe into your hamstrings. Inhale coming up and we're gonna bring ourselves slowly down onto, laying onto our backs. You can bring one hand over second chakra, one hand over fourth. And let's transition into bridge hip. The feet are hip width apart. Bring your elbows on the floor. Hands, palms of the hands facing each other. Either stay in bridge or you can transition into wheel, bringing your hands by your ears and lifting off of the floor here. Optional is to, to straighten the legs completely. Opening the chest and bringing the chest towards that wall in front of you. Tuck the tailbone under, keep your feet hip width apart and the feet are pointing forward. Slowly coming out of this and you can bring the soles of the feet together. Let's grab the outer edges of the feet and go into happy baby, pressing the knees by the rib cage down towards the ground. Flex your feet, breathe into your hips, hamstrings. And from here, extending the legs, bring your right knee across from your body for a supine stretch. Keeping both shoulders on the floor, switching sides. Bringing the left knee across from the body, look over to your left. Exhale, soften your belly. And from here, we're gonna bring the legs up and over the head into plow pose. Walk your feet away from you so that your hips come over your shoulders and your chest comes into your chin. Once your feet are on the floor, if they are, bring the top of the toes on the floor. 
either have your hands clasping on the floor or you can have your hands on your lower back supporting your body through this pose especially if your feet are not touching the floor bring your hands on your lower back keep your elbows as close to each other wiggle your shoulders in so that your elbows are as close to each other as possible And from here you can bring your hands, if they're not already on your lower back, bring them on your lower back and straighten your legs over your head for shoulder stand. I'm slowly coming out of shoulder stand but feel free to stay here for a little longer. When you come out of shoulder stand Make sure that you're slowly lowering yourself on the floor one vertebra at a time. And then prepare yourself for Shavasana. Stay in Shavasana for as long as you need to. Allowing yourself to disappear. Allowing everything around you to disappear. And just be. Namaste.